good morning afternoon or evening whichever time you might be watching this but um today is a special video because most of you <laughs> what because you're in it my name's Liz this is my daughter Joy Jaden basically what I was doing with the Disney character warehouse when it was open was personal shopping for most of you if this is your first time tuning in I'm not affiliated in Disney this was just my own business um, because of my journey through cancer and corona uh, has now affected us even going into the Disney character warehouse so I know many of you are dying to go back into the Disney character warehouse and go shopping so I figured out a great substitute uh, I had a lot of people send me emails including my mother my Disney angel, a lot of subscribers talking about a video that came out by Paging Mr. Morrow. And I guess this particular place that we're at now is amazing. And I can't wait to go inside and check it out. It has all kinds of Disney parks merchandise. It has items from the resorts, like, um, I don't know, ornaments that were actually on the Grand Floridian tree, things like that. So what I'm gonna offer to you guys, uh, since the character warehouse is closed, is my services to be a personal shopper over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a pretty detailed video. I haven't been inside yet, so I know it's probably gonna be pretty big. Um, how does my personal shopping work if you've never used it before? I do ship internationally. However, be aware that the post office charges astronomical rates for um, international shipping. Um, I do try to get the cheapest rate, whether it be you know USPS or FedEx or whatever. Um, my fee is this. If you, if you see something on my video that you want, you want to shoot me an email, it's lizlinen at gmail.com. So normally my fees are 20% of the sale or $10 flat rate pickup because this particular place is so far away. It could take me an hour, hour and a half, maybe 45 minutes on a good day to get here. There's tolls. Um, the fee will be a minimum of 25% or a $10 minimum pickup charge. Just because this stuff is very unique, you're not gonna be able to find this merchandise anywhere um, except for maybe a local, another thrift store or something around in the area. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I just also wanna thank everybody once again for all the prayers throughout um, this journey of mine and uh, continue to pray because I'm going through radiation, uh, 30 rounds, to complete and I'm two down so so I'm super excited they not only have Disney merchandise but they also yeah. have Halloween Horror Night stuff too um, no, which I might Disney need to get they canceled this year because of Corona <laughs> but we're alive so this will be a mixed video I'm going to be doing some voiceovers because the music was quite loud so Definitely stay tuned throughout the entire video. Most of the things that came th from the resorts are at the very end. But if you pause the video, a lot of these items, you can actually see the price point for some of these if you kind of zoom in. I felt like a lot of these Tinkerbell items were super reasonable. I can't really see them <laughs> as I'm trying to edit this video. $24.95 was for that mug. Oh my goodness, I can't see the, I swear as I was recording this, I can see the price point. I think you can see it if you scroll in a little bit. That one looks like it's $34.95. Also, if you see something that you like in this particular section, what I can do is just take a screenshot and I can call you or text you while I'm in the store to get, get you the exact price for some of these items. So here we have three different Nightmare Before Christmas items, and I believe each of these were $95, possibly $85. I think if you pause the video and zoom in on it or take a screenshot, you can definitely see the prices on it. I swear you could see the prices on these when I was recording. So all of these range in prices. I can kind of see a little bit. Most of them are about 4 and $5. Super, super old school. I'm gonna come down here. Oh my gosh! You guys, who had some of these growing up? I remember, I had $65? I remember having some of those. Like, there was a whole collection set. Where did it come from? Like McDonald's maybe? I remember those glasses though, that's crazy. I'm not really seeing the prices on, oops. 
on some of these. Let me see if I can go underneath. It's about between four to nine dollars in some of these little toys. So if you want any of these little knickknacks, you're gonna need to take a screenshot and you're gonna need to circle it because there's so many. There's just so many. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. And these again, looks like the price between five to ten dollars. Just a lot of little knickknacks. Patty wax, give a dog a bone. <laughs> Let me go down one more. That's more of the Disney stuff. I remember that. I think that's an old McDonald's toy. I think some of these. These are different prices. Mm. I see $4 on some, but I see $24 on that one. Whereas I see a boo is four, hunchback is six, twerk is four, genie looks like he's four. Mickey Mouse looks like he's eight, and there's two different ones. They have two available. And then back there, they have Ariel, Disney, Buzz Lightyear is four, Bugs Life is four. So these are pretty affordable. So I would be willing to ship big items like these if any of you guys want it. Just know that the shipping cost is going to be outrageous because of the height and how big they are. And I don't know what these were used for, but it just says Walt Disney Green Mannequin. So that's really cool. So they have a girl one that's $99, a boy one that's $99, and then the child one is uh, $89. So I'm not going to lie. This is so overwhelming. There's so much stuff in here. Not just Disney, but so much amazing stuff. And there's about like 10 rows and each row has like just tons and tons of merchandise so i'm gonna try to feature what i think you guys might be interested in um they do have these really fun decal stickers that you can put on your car and you know i'm the type of person that i don't like to touch anything right now but i saw the mickey mouse ones were four let me see how much the akuna matata one is oh it's six dollars for the akuna matata these smaller ones, I think they're all about four dollars. Let me double check. Oh, the little one, that one's only three. And then I can pick up anything, it doesn't have to be just Disney. This is pretty cool and creepy at the same time. $55, 1950s Mickey Mouse Marionette. That is super cool. Oh my god, and this is. The creepy section. Look at but look at this creeper. Weird shave head doll. Read this, you guys. Remember that time Britney Spears went off the deep end and chopped off all her hair? At least she didn't gnaw off her own foot. So I wanted to show off a few of these Barbies just because they were such a good price and super cute. This first one was only $18, mint condition in the box. Then you had an Annie Klein one, which was $29. Then this one was only $24.99, such a good deal. And then this one was only $10. All these were mint condition. Then you had the 10th anniversary Happy Holidays Barbie, only $14.99. And the one with the green dress was only $15, which was unbelievable deal. Here in the corner we have in a Mickey Mouse old school phone and he is only $28. So this little portion of the furniture, I don't think I can ship any of these items. They're just too heavy. I don't think I could fit them back in my car, but I just thought they were really cool. They were coming from the resorts. I believe all those chairs were about $75. This was from Sarasota Springs, Ottoman, only $75. The, um... Oh my gosh, those are from the Polynesian, I think. They think they're from the Polynesian, but they're so cute. I love Polynesian, my favorite resort, $65. These were from Saratoga Springs. Beautiful dressers, so gorgeous in general. And the pricing was, I don't know, I went too fast. <laughs> 250 I think those chairs that's those two set of chairs were ridiculous I want to say that those two chairs were like $250 or something crazy like that and it said Disney Vacation Club don't even know where it was at the Christmas tree was used on property I think that was right around 90 and then the big animal kingdom garland I want to say that was about $60 
Who recognizes these? Oh my gosh, I got those when they came through the Character Warehouse. Six fifty. All of these shot glasses, they were, let's see what the price was, $6? And I don't know if these were used or unused. Honestly, they look like in mint condition to me. Or we should say toothpick holders, I'm sorry. Because, you know, Walt Disney World calls them toothpick holders. $6.95 for that one. These mugs were super cute. I just thought they were $6 for the mugs. Just very classic. I only see one mug sitting there. And then this little thing was $15 for the little trinket tray. This I regret not picking up because I'm sure somebody's going to want it. It's an annual pass holder. It's $19.95 Flower and Garden from last year. Remember these from the Character Warehouse? I do. $12, which is actually higher than the Character Warehouse had them priced at. And then this was only $9.95. I thought that was super cute. And then over here we had a ton of Star Wars toothpick holders. Make sure you circle the ones you want because I'm not going to know which ones that you want in general, to be honest with you, because there's so many. And I think the price point on these were about, oh, there they are, $7.95. And then they had a bunch of Star Wars uh, items on the wall, $5.95. Make sure you're taking screenshots so I can know exactly what you want. Movie night. Oh, I thought this was so cute. I love this. I really love this a lot. And I think it was, it was a little high, eighteen ninety five. But I thought it was super cute. So all of these were sippers, popcorn buckets, Star Wars. Again, make sure you take a screenshot. I believe all of these were about ten ninety five, nine ninety nine, right in that price point. Toy Story Mania was nine ninety five. Those definitely look like they had been used. Pirates of the Caribbean, that one was $9.95. But some of you guys, I know, collect popcorn buckets, things like that. The Lion King, that was $19.99. That water looked really old inside of there, by the way, just pointing that out. Still a lot more of these sipper cups. That was like shampoo and conditioner Star Wars, which I don't know what the pricing was on that because I didn't touch it. Um, Frozen... $19.95. This was $9.95. That was only cardboard, though. It was legit. It was just cardboard. That was $2 for this Mickey visor. That little Pinocchio thing was really cute. I think it said it was $6.95. The little block was $3.50. What else do we have? Little ear hats. Again, now with the ear hats, I don't know if they were used or unused. This I thought was so cute. Those, um, I don't know what you would call them, like hot air balloon looking crepe things, and they, they, Go, they're easy to ship, but they were only $30 because they fold down. I thought those were so cute. So I actually found the Mickey and another booth, and I think they were both around the same price. This one definitely was $35. Yeah, this is something you don't see very often. Doing a Burt Disney bag, Disneyland half marathon 2015. We also have the Dooney and Burke Epcot Food and Wine Festival bag 2016. That one has the tags on it. Let me see if I can sneak around. Oh, there's one that's so cute behind here, too. Oh, my goodness. There's, like, this old chair I'm tripping over. Look, there's another Disneyland bag. Looks like it's half marathon as well. I have a couple cute little Disney pictures. This one's only $10.95. Over here. This one's $200. <laughs> that one's a big one. That's a villain area. That one's $40. That one's pretty cool. This is pretty cool too. $10.95. Now these are some really cool plates. Look at this one. Disney collectible plate. $19.91 with original box. $20. This one's only $12. That's that so one cute. Is the happy What's back here? Oh look at these tins. Look, they're only $3. Now that's a deal if I ever saw one. Okay, there's some super cool mugs. Look at this Disneyland mug. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's only $10. This is super cute. And then this one. Gosh, these are so cute. And they have like the boxes with them too. That's unusual. $10. Mickey Mouse. Ooh. Ten dollars. Is this ten dollars? Ten and then the Minnie Mouse as well as ten. They have the boxes that go with it. And then these two also have the boxes. Let's see if they're ten as well. Yep, ten dollars. 
And then this one is only $10 as well. This is so cute. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We found some cool stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna try to go slow so you guys can see. $28.50. And all of these include the boxes. $27.50. Looks like all of these are tw Oh my goodness, you know what, Jaden? You remember we did the puzzle and that was part of the puzzle yeah. and that was part of the puzzle we did? Even that one. Those all look like $28.50. Yeah, even that one too. Hold on, what is this? This $40. This little guy's $3.50. $5. Sorcerer Mickey back there clock is $40. This one is $35. This isn't the character warehouse, guys, so I'm so hard to like. No, we need to. Be so careful. $35. Wow, that's only $40. Let me zoom back a little bit. Maybe it'll be easier for you guys to see some of this stuff. Twelve dollars. This is just like a. This is different. <laughs> I don't know. That's a mix between a homemade item. This is eight six fifty. These little crystal bells. They're twelve fifty. Oh, look at this. Twenty fifth anniversary, October nineteen ninety six to December nineteen ninety seven. Only six dollars. That's super cool. Oh, look at the little. Is this is a stamp. No, it's not. It's just a little block. Those are cool. Two dollars, five dollars. Those little blocks. Ten dollars. Okay. What else we got? I don't see the boxes to these. Twenty six fifty. But if you guys order any of these plates, I'm gonna like triple, triple, I like triple that one. bubble wrap. I knew you would. Mm -hmm. Twenty six fifty. These That's are all super lot. cute. And then you've got some old calendars back here. They all look like they're about $10. And then anything, oh, Pooh Dictionary, $10 back in that corner. Oh, look at Lady and the Tramp. Wait, it's not Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I've never seen anything like this. Look how cool that. Correct. I bet it's 26 or 28.50. Uh, 28.50. Yeah, so Ooh, basically they're all like either 26 or 28.50. Oh, look at that. And then I'm gonna go down here. Oh, look at Donald Duck. That one's super cool. <gasps> look at that. They got some cool plates. My favorite. Oh, Jaden, look. Tokyo Disneyland plate. That's what I want. Oh, I knew you'd say that. All right, so that right there is $9.50. The stacking he... mugs are $25. The gumball machine is $35. And then the porcelain mini, $65. And then this old school Mickey is $35. Oh my goodness, these ties were just the cutest. Like, all of them were $10. The Pooh Bear one, I just, oh my gosh. This one, oh, I just loved them all. They all look so great. Make sure if you order any of these, be very descriptive and please take a screenshot as to which one or ones that you do want. And that goes for anything throughout this whole video. Uh, because it's not the character warehouse, I really will need visual. So here are some more really cool plates. The second one here was $5. The first one I believe was around 10. That one I think was around 10. And the last one I thought, I think is a really inexpensive, yes, $3. So another thing that you wanna remember when ordering in general, that not only are you helping to uh, support my small business, but you are also, it's a win-win because you're helping whoever owns these booths support their businesses. Actually, when I was there, I saw a lady uh, having to pack up all her uh, belongings in her booth, uh, and she was shutting her booth down for good. So that's another thing that you want to remember um, when ordering because you are actually supporting multiple small businesses <laughs> this was a whole lot of different trinkets and i thought i'd just film it because maybe one of you guys might have had something as a child or something that you had personally might have broke most of these items gosh they were probably between four to ten dollars max on most of these uh i know some of you guys collect the little vinyl mations these were all i think like around three dollars yep three dollars a lot of different ones the smaller ones they also had the really big ones as well and i do believe that these were used 
And if they were, they are in excellent condition, obviously. And look at this! MGM Studios glass plate Brother Bear, $12. That's super rare. And then you've got, uh, what is this? These are the bigger animations, Vinylmations. I think these are like 10 so those look new, or if they aren't new, they look pretty doggone good for not being new. This one, I don't think I could ever find the price for. Oh, no, just kidding. That one's 18 So that one, I think, was the most expensive. And then these were more like the medium large sizes, and I think they're all about $8.50. I'm pretty sure that all of these. So I was just trying to scan and show you guys your options. They're all pretty cool. Cool for collectors, cool for kids' room. doesn't matter. They're just in general right but uh oh 24 dollars <laughs> i got a great view of that price tag so and then oh what's two dollars oh these were cool now these were definitely had been used and some of them it says as is i don't know what was wrong with them but they were i thought they were really cute for two dollars and they had what sneezy snow white another sneezy a sleepy happy i thought they were super cute for two so four dollars just like a used license plate there and then this was actually 28 dollars, and we know it was cheaper at the character warehouse but if you missed it that's a good deal 16 dollars for the pin set and then here's another pin set that was alice in wonderland i think that was oh that was 1950 and we all know this was at the disney character warehouse at one point 18 dollars if you missed out this is a newborn set but it's so cute I thought these sets were very unique. I've never seen anything like that before. $28, $22. They're very small. It's like super miniature little sets there of these little figurines. Super cute. $26, $8. When you win a chicken dinner, $6.50 for these vinyl mations. I thought that was a really good deal. And they're also cute. And all of these, I believe, were about $4. A bunch of the Toy Story 4 Hot Wheels cars. They had lots of them. These were like super, super small snow globes. And $3. And so they had a lot. Were they all? Oh, $4. I think most of them were like 3 and $4. But I was trying to show you all the different ones that they did have available. Again, they were pretty small. Here, These were a little bit more more bigger that's not proper english a little bit, bit larger but they weren't like super big five dollars little christmas eeyores six dollars so cute and then that big one back there in the corner was 32 that one was a little bit more why am i not showing the price oh there it goes 16 dollars <laughs> Oh, they're all so cute. This one was a little bit more, too, I think. Oh, no, $6. Not bad at all. Not bad. Actually, I thought very reasonable. These were so cute. They're so small, as you can see. $2. They kind of fit in the palm of your hand. They're all so cute. $3. All these little frames. Great for, like, a nursery. Oh, my gosh. If you guys are in my shopping group... Kendra just had twins, and her whole nursery is Pooh Bear, I believe, if I if I recall correctly. Most of you know who Kendra is. She has her own YouTube channel. Kendra, if you're watching, drop your YouTube channel in the comments below. I think it's MK Family. And, oh, $6 for a set of 10 Animal Kingdom postcards. Super cute. Now, these, I could tell, tell were definitely all handmade. They were all between 6 to $10. And again, I think they were super cute. You're supporting a local business, keeping someone alive or help supporting them. I don't know what you say. But they had all different types. And, of course, if you see something that you like that isn't Disney, like the Minecraft, or you like the Broncos or the Dolphins or the Cowboys or whatever team you like I'll pick that up for you as well and I think oh the Star Wars one was not that one's six this one's ten <laughs> and let's see here I think all these were like between six to ten dollars they were all so cute and they're just like a nice throw pillow you can put on your couch or your bed or whatever wherever you want to throw it all right Disney glass mug I thought that was really cute. So if your name is Melissa, 
this might be a great mug for you or if your name is Dave, this is the mug for you. Melissa and Dave, there you go. There are your mugs. Call your name right here. That one is $10 as well. <laughs> little trinkets, $3.99, $4. Just a lot of little different trinkets. They had so many pop figures. Oh my gosh. Jeannie, Isabel, Sark. Uh, I can't even see. Abu, Jasmine. Most of these were between $7 to $8. Dash, Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, Violet, Jack-Jack, Frozone. S I can't read. <laughs> Knows more, $7. So many. Uh, Huey and Dewey. I didn't see Louie, though. Those are $9. And then Tailspin, I thought was so cool. Blue is $8. Wildcat, so that was really cool. And then here we have some of the resort travel mugs, and these are $4.99. We had quite a few of those. We had tons of the Castaway Cruise Line tote bags. Those were $19.99. And then these were so cool, these sipper cups. I love these. It's Animal Kingdom. Reminds me of the one that we got at Polynesian by the pool that my son won last year. $6.99. That's a good deal. So this has nothing to do with Disney, but these are just some super cool salt and pepper shakers. And the only reason that I'm showing them is my late grandmother used to collect salt and pepper shakers. And she had such a collection. How many of you had a grandparent that had a cool collection of something? And what was it? Comment down below. I'd love to know. All right, let the fun begin. $95. They had a couple of these available. This I will not be able to ship, but this was actually used last year at Halloween Horror Nights, so I thought that was pretty cool. Those glasses were only $8, and they had a few of them available. All of the larger props that I'm about to show you, obviously I can't be shipping any of the super large ones, but... I still wanted to show them to you because that was really, really cool and they were all used. That one was from the Disney's Daredevil TV show. And then those were used at Halloween Horror Nights. They were crazy expensive, like $1,500 or something crazy like that. Uh, that one was $45. It's an original prop used last year at mm -hmm. Halloween Horror Nights. I remember that too. And then that was Disney Dream Blankets. $40. These chairs I would not be able to ship, but I thought that were really cool, so I wanted to film them anyhow. And so here's a Christmas box prop. This one is only $15. This one is $95. Holy cow. These were super cheap. $10. It doesn't say where it was used on property, but it was used on property somewhere. Oh, that one, Disney Springs, five dollars. <laughs> and all those little cups. I feel like these are like small Dole Whip cups. Fifteen dollars for that oh, big stack cool. of cups. That was only fifteen dollars. Yeah, shipping is gonna There's be. No I could ship that. I could definitely ship that, but just know the shipping is probably gonna be a little bit high on this one. This right here, I could never find a price tag for it. I looked everywhere. Maybe it was free. Maybe they were just giving it away. But I like literally and of course, it up. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys. If someone really wants it, I will find it for them. Six dollars. If you want it, ice cube thingy. I don't know what you call those things anymore. Ice cube bucket. Ice bucket. <laughs> and these are original props from Escape Room. Fifty dollars a piece. Oh, those are very unique. Fifty dollars. For the Cars lampshade, that was super cool. $12 for that. These I thought were a little bit high priced, but they are definitely cool. $50. And those I think were $40. $50. Sorry, $50. This was $50, I think that's what the tag said. Um, and then this Christmas tree, I don't think I would be able to ship that. That was 95. That was 40. That was kind of cool. Yacht Club, that was pretty cool. This right here was $125. And there's no way to ship that. It was huge, but it was super cool. 
That's only $10. I swear I was going so slow when I was filming this. $5, but now I feel like I'm going like super fast. It's so hard to keep up. Astro Blaster Ball. $8, I think. Nope, 25 Just kidding. I have a horrible memory now. Animal Kingdom Luggage Rack. $65. That's $35. I can't keep up with my own video. That's crazy. $20. <laughs> 12 Metal decorative cup used as a set decoration. I wonder what set it was used in. That was pretty cool, Liam. Yeah. Not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. These framed art was pretty cheap. $35. And they were actually used in the rooms. And uh, they are small enough to ship. I thought that was, those were a pretty good idea. Pretty good deal. So here we go. Thought that was a pretty good deal there. Then what do we have? Like um, $75. That's interesting. Somebody might want that. I don't know. $45 for this plate. Eh. $10. <laughs> uh, what else? That was cool. That's a cool little prop right there. Pretty inexpensive. That is, why am I so shaky? $15, there we go. <laughs> and obviously I didn't get the price. 15 for those, it looks like. $20, $20? It was hard to see. Now, okay, here we go, this is so exciting. So exciting, Pop Century, $2. These were all the ornaments that were on the Pop Century tree. Pop Century tree. Oh, and then this is cool too. $2.50 for the eyes and ears. These are a cast member magazine. Wilderness Lodge ornaments. These were on the tree at Wilderness Lodge. Five bucks. I can't see the price. Did it say $2? Ah! $7.50. All of these have like the little wire that you can attach to the tree. $10. $7.50, which is not a bad price for ornament in general. $3, $3. Make sure if you order the ornaments, this one's Animal Kingdom Park. Let me know which park you want or which hotel you want. Those were $1.50. And um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be ordering. So it's gonna be first come, first serve on the emails for these, you guys. And if you see a few that you like, mm -hmm. maybe someone ordered it before you, try to like pick a couple backups, mm -hmm. just in case. But $4, yeah, most of these were like between two to 7.50. Even some of these were like a dollar, as low as a dollar. But I think the average price was like two or three dollars for like the bulbs. This one was Saratoga Springs, I believe. Or Key West, Key West, I'm sorry, Key West. And they're so cute. Those were a little bit more. Those were like 15, I think it said. And then the bows, I think they're about five. Yep, five dollars. Old Key West Resort. There we go. And so, if you see any, make sure you take screenshots. They're just very descriptive. Again, three dollars. He had a good bit of Key West ornaments. This one's fifty dollars. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. That might be, oh, it's a little one. This was cool, but it was kind of pricey, but it was definitely cool. $110 Ooh, right all star resort prop. But that's really cool. Like where are you gonna get something like that for your house? Like nowhere, it was so cool. $4, $5, Magic Kingdom Park. Original ornaments used by the stage. $7.50. You know what's interesting is, is that I'm surprised they don't use these like every year. Do they just buy new ornaments every year? That's what I find kind of odd. That would be kind of costly. I guess they do. I guess, I don't know. Hmm. Four dollars. Okay, what else do we have here? This was like, a, no idea why, what this was. Oh, yeah, $25. Little <laughs> creepy bird there. Yeah, mm -hmm. cute, I guess. Uh, boardwalk in resort. And let's see, three dollars, five dollars. Feel free to pause the video and take your screenshots and really write down the scripts of descriptions of what you would like. Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, the lights. Those are really cool. 
$50 for the lights. There was two of those. And then, what am I looking at? Oh, here's another one. That was really cool. So that was $10 signed. This was 35. This little Pluto guy was super cute. This little bell. You might have to pause and really kind of get in it there and look at those prices. I think if you pause the video, you'll be able to see a little bit more of those prices. Gosh, I didn't realize I was going so fast. I do apologize. It was very overwhelming. $101 for this complete set. That was pretty cool. And Jaden was sitting here counting to make sure all the pieces were there. But it was really cool how it came in. So he was definitely double checking. That was really cool as well. Disney and Ice program thing was 15. I filmed this. I thought it was a little bit high priced, but I thought, well, maybe someone had this as a kid and they would like it. I think it was $50. These pillows I thought was an outstanding deal. These pillows were $15. Regardless of where they were, I think these were all on a Disney cruise line. They were in such good shape and they were so nice. 15 bucks. I thought they were super cute. And to be like Disney cruise, something Disney, that's awesome. So these were actually like the bed scarves. Like that one was used on the beds of Animal Kingdom. I thought this was just unique in general. $40 couple different styles that they had available and then this was pretty cool a little pricey though 119 dollars for these lamps and they'll probably be a little expensive to ship so this is great if you have a kid you can practice take it home with you buy it so they won't touch it and swing it around <laughs> this was such a cool mug i love this mug Actually, i almost bought it for myself but i didn't i think all of these have been used but i could be wrong um, I think they were like between four to ten dollars, but that doesn't like super cute. Nope, the great. black one, and then you have a couple more vinylmations. I believe they were about four or five dollars for the little little ones there. Super cute. And here we have those cute little Disney Mickey Mouse countdown the days. Ten dollars for this little bobblehead. Most of these items here were very, very affordable. This was a great deal. This gym short, it's a boy. I thought that was amazing, $24. It was really hard to film these items in the front because the people working there were staring at me, so it was really hard to get some of these things. That was MGM, $12, Tower of Terror watch. I thought that was pretty cool. And then this 80 years Pez collectible, I thought that was pretty cool. And it was a good price too, $12.90. I actually own one of these, my brother gave it to me, but these are super cute and they were only $6.99. Yeah! Oh my goodness. And look at this, rain, rain, rain. Yeah. Lovely Disney. Oh! <laughs> that was good timing. All right, guys, so I hope you saw something you liked. Um, we'll probably go down to, what's this today? The 27th, Tuesday. So depending on how this week goes, we may try to come back next week, depending um, how many orders I get. So try to get your orders in. Um, you okay? It was very overwhelming. We probably spent, like, how long we were in there? Like two hours, maybe? It's just huge. It's so huge. It's it's claustrophobic. It's but the cool thing was the time of day that we went, there really wasn't a lot of people. I could definitely see this place getting so busy on the weekends because there's just such a variety of all types of antiques. So get your order in, Liz Lennon at gmail.com. It will be a ten dollar minimum pickup fee or 25% of the sale, whichever is higher. Uh, normally I do charge 20%, but because of uh, the long drive, I will be taking tolls. Um, and this is, a lot of the merchandise you just can't get like this anywhere. Um, I mean, you might be able to find some of these items on eBay, but they'll probably be listed a little bit or a lot, a bit higher. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. We tried. I tried, um, you know, provide some cool Disney magic for you guys. And hopefully the character warehouse will be open sooner than later. But in the meantime, this seems like a really cool little spot. So, um, yep, send me your orders. Make sure they include your name, address, phone number. You guys look so excited. 
and thank you guys so much. So every day is a gift, so have faith. It's your dog! Just to show you guys, this is the way that I actually came to <laughs> the place we just came from. And this is like literally been backed up for miles. So that's what I say, like, you never know within, you know, an hour's time frame where it might take me 45 minutes, it might end up taking me two hours. Literally, literally, look at this. I don't even know how far it's backed up, but it's backed up pretty far. I'm glad I'm going in the right direction this time. <laughs>